Okay, uh, let's see what's 41 all about. Uh, we are talking about 5 5, right? Okay, number 41. Okay, it's very similar to a problem that I'm going to show you in class. Again, I didn't teach you that stuff, unfortunately, my bad. Okay, but I'll, I'll do a similar problem, so see if you can take off from there. Okay? All right. So, the first problem I want to do is this one here. Okay? CSC theta over 2. <clears throat> All right. Um, Okay, so I want CSC theta over 2, and you know that CSC theta over 2 is 1 over sine theta over 2, okay? Which means that you're going to use the half angle formula. So the half angle formula tells you, and when I'm doing this, okay, I try and get it out of my head, you guys know where to go look for it, okay? So I would suggest very strongly you have your identity sheet there, so you know what I'm doing, okay? And so that you can catch my bad as well. So sine theta over 2 is plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine theta all over 2. Okay? So theta over theta is given to you in a, in a very strange way. It's given to you like in a, in a rectangle, I mean a triangle. Okay? So first of all, can you tell me whether theta over 2 is going to be in quadrant 1, 2, 3, or 4? What quadrant is it going to be in? Hello? Hello? <laughs> what? What? Okay, you got a shout out. Okay, you got a shout out. Okay, come on, hello. What quadrant is theta over 2 going to be in? Well, let me ask you this question. What quadrant is theta in? Look in here, look in here. It's an angle in a triangle. It's got to be an acute angle because one angle is 90, so the other one's got to be acute. So, theta is an acute angle. Half of theta is going to be even more acute. Aha, get it? <laughs> so, therefore, it would be in quadrant one. Yeah? So, then I need to ignore the minus sign here. You guys with me on that? So, it's a plus sign there. You guys okay? All right. Then I'm going to get square root of one minus cosine theta. So, look at this triangle. Tell me what cosine theta is. Sorry? 12 over 13. And then you do your fraction stuff, and I get 1 over 26. Except I want, I want CSC theta over 2. So it's going to be 1 over, uh, 1 over square root of 26. That'd be square root of 26. All right? You guys with me on this? Yeah? Okay? Anybody have questions on this? No? Okay. Next example. Okay, this is the one uh, Haven will help you out to do that problem 41 or whatever you ask for. Okay? Does everybody see that this is this. Everybody see that? Yeah? 30 minutes is half a degree. Right? 30 divided by 60. Okay, is half a degree. Then does everybody see that this is 315 over 2? Everybody see that? Yes? Okay? Everybody okay on that? So now notice that I want to find the sign of 157 degrees 30 minutes, which is finding the sine of 315 over 2. Okay? Which is going to be equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine u. What is u in this case? What's u in this? Sorry? 315. Is everybody with Janice on this? U is 315. Does anybody need me to explain that? 
You guys okay? So it's going to be cosine 315 all over 2. Now, should I use a plus sign or a minus sign there? Why? Wow, you get a minus, you get a plus. Okay, you guys going to arm wrestle this out. What is in the second quadrant? Sign cannot be, yeah, sign's not in a quadrant. The angle is in a quadrant. Which one? Fantastic, nice. Amal, nice work, good job. You going to pimp this to your mom? <laughs> so you're going to use a you're going to use a plus sign, okay? You're going to use a plus sign on this one. Okay, cosine 315. What quarter is 315 in? Fourth. Cosine 315. What's cosine 45? Cosine positive or negative? Ha ha. Sorry. Positive, so then it'd be negative 2 over 2, all over 2. Is everybody with me on this? Yes? So then this gives me square root of 2 minus root 2 over 4, which is square root of 2 minus root 2 over 2. This is probably the first time you've seen a root inside a root. There's not much you can do with it. Okay? A square root within a square root, okay? Probably the first time you've seen this. Okay? Is everybody all right? Am I going too fast? Okay? You guys all right? Lucy? Okay? All right, Haven, this will help you do the previous problem? Okay? Nice. Okay. Uh, So get this down. So you're going to use the formula sine u over 2 equals plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine u all over 2. So you can see that what you need to do is you need to find cosine u. Okay. Well, tangent u is given to you, so we're going to do a u triangle. Tangent u is 12 over 5. Then this is 30. We'll worry about the negative signs later. Don't, I don't like putting a negative sign in a triangle. You know, a triangle has sides. You know, so I don't like doing that. But if you like it, hey, go for it. Okay? So from this triangle, cosine u is equal to 5 over 13. Everybody see that? Okay? Now it's telling you that u is in quadrant. Which quadrant is u in? 4. So cosine u has got to be positive quadrant 4. So then this guy is going to be plus or minus 1 minus 5 over 13 all over 2. So let's make a decision about whether this should be plus or a minus. So if u is in quadrant 3, i.e. it's between 270 degrees and 360 degrees,